Place City family, what is up? It is Art and I coming at you on the north side of Chicago, about to go into Target, a big Target. And I'm kind of stoked because they have a lot of holiday stuff here, and they also have a lot of new healthy items every time I come here. So I thought it'd be fun for Art and I to meet here and go do a quick haul, uh, and then see what's good, see what's bad, and why, like we always do. Before we go into Target and do our thing, you know the drill, like, subscribe, share, all those things are great, but we have a lot of content going live, so there's also a bell icon below the video. Enable all notifications on your device so you don't miss out. Also, I want you to check out thrivemarket.com using my promo link down below. Thrive has sponsored the channel for five years now, and anything you would get in uh, Target or any grocery store you normally go to is on Thrive Market for cheaper than the store. Typically, you save about $32 per order and the box comes to your door. But they also have this really cool thing that's a price scanner on their app. You can scan anything at the grocery store and it shows you if it's cheaper on Thrive Market or if there's a better alternative. And all Flav City fans always get the hookup. When you click my link down below, you get a free gift up to $24 and it's 30 days risk free. Try them out. We love Thrive Market. Okay, let's mask up and do some shopping here at Target. I think more and more people are getting into banana milk. I see it popping up here and there. And Almond Breeze now has almond milk blended with real bananas, which is interesting because it has a good flavor, but also helps the texture. But the question is, what are the other ingredients here? So if we look here, it's almond milk, banana puree, and then natural flavors, of course, many of these have it, Sun sunflower lecithin, gel and gum, and a bunch of uh, fortified vitamins there. Added sugar is zero because of the banana. This is not ideal. You know what's ideal actually? Muala. We talked about it in that video a while back called There's No Almonds in Your Almond Milk. Muala is way better because there's only one emulsifier and no nasty ingredients. This is not great. Go for the plain original Muala. But I do like the idea of the bananas in there. Um, and then I'm bummed out they don't have it. They have the original Oatly, but not the low fat. A lot of people ask me what I think about this. I don't love this oat milk, and I'll show you why. The regular one here actually adds rapeseed oil, which is another word for canola oil, but it is glyphosate free. It's certified on their website. But look at all of the uh, additives here, and the oil really makes it not ideal, because even though it's low uh, glyphosate, it's very, very highly processed. If you look at the low fat one, which would be right here, that has no rapeseed oil at all. So I'd go for that, but it's not as ideal as uh, like a malk. Malk makes an amazing almond milk and oat milk that has no emulsifiers at all. Watch my video called There's No Almonds in Your Almond Milk when this is done. You wanna avoid non-dairy milks that have too many gums and emulsifiers and oils because it's really disruptive to your gut and your uh, intestines. The low-fat Oatly isn't that bad. Other ones that are cheaper will have way more emulsifiers. Um, so go for the low-fat one if you can. Malk makes a better one and go for the Muala because Art and I love that crazy koala bear, right? It's cool. He's cool and a little creepy. A little bit. And my friends, I've looked everywhere, I mean everywhere, for a Bobby approved eggnog. I cannot find any of them because ideally I want organic if it's going to be dairy and not crazy amounts of sugar. This one's not organic, but when you're talking about 14 grams of sugar per eight ounces, you guys. 14 grams of sugar is just under four teaspoons of white cane sugar. That's way too much. This is eggnog diabetes at that point. And then look at the other ingredients here. So it's GMO non-organic milk. Oh my God, high fructose corn syrup, more corn syrup, artificial flavors. Does anyone know of a good organic? I know there's like organic value, but organic low sugar one. And if you're looking for dairy free, or here's Califia, the problem is we look at the ingredients here, and there's cane sugar. How much cane sugar? Ooh, eight isn't bad. Oh, it's eight per four ounces. The other one's eight ounces. So that's two teaspoons per four ounces, 16 for eight ounces. They tried to fool me. They can't fool me. Natural flavors and the gums and the emulsifier. So I'd say this is a better option than this one, but I just can't find one that's lower sugar. If this were lower sugar, I'd actually be okay with it because it's a specialty holiday drink, but that is a definite no-go. Southern Comfort, I'd rather have the Southern Comfort booze. What is Southern Comfort, do you know? It's uh, booze. It's What kind of booze? Like a bourbon, but not really. Like a bourbon, but not really. I'd rather have that. I before. think, I've I heard. Think. I'd rather have it, whatever it is, than that. All right, we pause this video to show you the coolest thing I've ever seen. Are you kidding me? Look at this. How is Santa doing that by himself? Oh my, I have to see how much. If this is 30 bucks, I'm gonna buy it. I'm pretty sure Rose would be scared and tear it down. 
But that is awesome. Are you in awe like me right now, Art? I am. Thank you. It I takes am. a lot to awe me, and that's doing it. Oh, yeah. Art and I often say that we need a camera crew following us because the stuff we say in between aisles at the grocery store is beyond ridiculous. It's kind of like- Some might say epic. Yeah, some might say also that's like Seinfeld. It's a show about nothing. We just had that instance right now, so we gotta show you what we're talking about. I came to the cookie aisle here just to see what's going on, and I'm very happy to see they still have the uh, high-key keto cookies here because these are great. I've talked about them before. It's one of the best cookies at Target because they're keto, low-carb, made with best-in-class ingredients. The only one I don't love here is the natural flavors, but that's very common with a lot of cookies, but especially keto. So I can forgive that because there's no added sugar and the carbs are so low. But where it got funny is this is a pretty new product on the market. Kodiak Cakes, which I've talked about their pancakes mix, now has Graham Bear Bites. And I was checking out the ingredients here, and this is the one that fooled me. You fooled me, Jerry, you fooled me. So whole grain, whole wheat, so you wanna see whole grains, but what the heck is whole grain graham flour? Art and I were like, what's going on? So what'd you do, Art? I wikipedia it. Okay. And it is a coarse ground flour of whole wheat named after Sylvester Graham. So look at that. It's actually just wheat that's coarse ground, but now we know. And what do we know about knowing? Knowing is half the battle. Thank you, Art. G.I. Joe. <laughs> so the thing is, it's still not Bobby approved because even though it's whole grains, these are not organic wheat and non-organic wheat scores high in glyphosate, but they're sneaking in cane sugar to the tune of six grams per serving, which is 15 pieces. Not terrible to be honest, but processed sunflower oil and see natural flavors in all this stuff. So I'd much rather have this one. This one is a no-go. We now know what ground flour is thanks to Art and Wikipedia. But this is what we do. This is a show about nothing. Man, Art and I are seeing the Instant Pot on sale at like every different location you can walk here in Target. And to be honest, it's an amazing deal. It's the eight quart Instant Pot Duo for 50 bucks off. It expires today, the day the video comes off. So you might want to run, don't walk, run, because this is my Instant Pot I have at home. Actually, I have the six quart and I wish I had the eight quart because I want more room. This is such a great multi-cooker. I primarily use it for pressure cooking. Uh, the cool thing about that is because it's an electric pressure cooker, all the smell stays inside the pot. Unlike a traditional stovetop pressure cooker, it lets the smell out. This is a great deal. I would scoop that for sure. I like that a lot. Also, the air fryer Power XL is on sale. It looks like a good deal too, right? 50 bucks off. But I'm not a fan of air fryers. Number one, they're huge. They take up a lot of space in my uh, kitchen, which I don't have prime uh, real estate anymore because it's so full. But more importantly, almost all air fryers are Teflon nonstick coated and the temperatures get pretty high, 400. I don't like Teflon at high heats there. It can let off harmful gases. Um, they do make some uh, air fryers that are stainless steel. I believe they're combo air fryers and uh, toaster ovens. I would get those, but to be honest, I just pop on the oven. I put the, uh, in, what's it called, induction fan or? What's the Convection. fan? Convection. Convection, thank you, a convection uh, fan. That's how I do air frying. Or if I really want to fry, I'll just chop it in a healthier oil, like avocado oil. So I'd say no on that, but yes, on, that's a great deal, by the way. Oh, so yeah, it's fantastic. No, it's really, really good. Yeah, no, this is great. Takes care of that. Yeah, that's right. You're welcome, Instant Pot. I'll take a $5 commission to PayPal me. Thank you. All right, Art and I are having a major issue because there's so many employees at Target. Every time we come here, they're stocking like crazy. It's making it hard to film, but we can't stop. We won't stop. Let's do it because I just walked by the breakfast cereal here and there is an earth shattering deal on granola right now, specifically the Bobby approved best in class granola on the market, purely Elizabeth. Of course, the one that I eat, the grain free granola is the only one not on sale, but the oats ones are. Look at this price, $3.99 until $12.26. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas to you. So look at this. This is the kind of cereal you wanna eat. This is ancient grain organic granola. These ingredients are loco and la careza. They're organic gluten-free oats, organic coconut sugar, a paleo sweetener, not cane sugar, the best oil you can get, raw virgin coconut oil, sunflower seeds, uh, quinoa, ch -ch -ch chia seeds, wow, wow, wee wow. That price is fantastic. And the other ones are great too. Looks like this one's a little more expensive because of the probiotics. But compare that, compare those ingredients to this. This is like the kind ones that are very popular on sale for the same price, but not something you'd want to eat, in my opinion, because the oats are not organic. 
Look at the sugars, tapioca syrup and cane sugar, two terrible sweeteners compared to uh, coconut sugar. And you keep reading, processed canola oil, probably GMO, but highly processed, highly inflammatory, and natural flavors. So yes, it has the probiotics there, but when you compare it to this, get this one, get that, load up. I want that in my stocking stuffer for Christmas. This is the kind of stuff you wanna get. And the reason why oats need to be Organic, in my opinion, is because non-organic oats score high in glyphosate, the active ingredient in Roundup. So you gotta get organic oats, organic wheat, and organic legumes. That sale is great. Run, Forrest, run. There's a few sale items in the baking aisle, which is perfect for this time of year for holiday baking, especially for low carb or paleo. So look at this. The Bob's Red Mill Superfine Almond Flour is on sale. The non-sale price is uh, not something I would get, but the sale price is Decent. I mean, not as good as Costco's $4 a pound, and definitely way better than this. King Arthur, what are you doing? Oh my God, $11.49 for a pound? That is really, really expensive. I would not get that one. Uh, but this is really nice for low carb and keto baking and paleo baking. Uh, coconut flour, I use a lot for dredging. It's tough to replace almond flour with coconut flour. You can't do that because coconut flour is very, very um, dry, but it's great for dredging here. And this is always a great price for coconut sugar. Coconut sugar is the same as coconut palm sugar. It is the nectar of the coconut blossom. And $3.79 per pound is great. And this has a really lovely caramel nutty flavor here. Uh, what else is here? Wow, I've never seen this before. Look at this. They have an egg replacer here. So normally, if you don't want an egg in a recipe, you can make a flaxseed egg. You can just Google it. It's a really cool recipe. But this seems like a combination of potato, tapioca, baking soda, powder, and don't be silly and husk. And you just replace one egg with two tablespoons of water and that. Very, very interesting. I've never seen that before. Uh, but Google a uh, flaxseed egg. It's really easy. And then if you do happen to bake with flour, I like King Arthur, but they don't have it here. They have organic King Arthur at a lot of grocery stores like a Whole Foods. You really want to get organic flour. I think it's very important. Otherwise, it can score high in glyphosate. And what else is here? Pretty, pretty decent stuff. Oh, a lot of people ask me about canola oil for baking. If recipes for cake or cupcakes call for canola oil, what do you swap it out with? Swap it out one to one with avocado oil. It's the perfect sub that has no flavor, just like canola oil. It's high heat cooking approved and it's way, way hard healthier. And I see Art eyeing something here. What's going on, Art? I had an epiphany. Ah. You know that used car company, Carvana? Yep. Massive vending machines. What if when you go to pick up your car at Carvana, they serve you some Tivana and the soundtrack is some Nirvana? <laughs> I might buy a car then, to be honest, Art. <laughs> Add that this to is another. what happens all day long. Well, especially, especially, especially when we're like sitting this. around here waiting for the aisles to be cleared off from Waldo's. But yeah, so this is a show about nothing. There you go. Here's a new one for me, at least. Uh, they have butter sculptures. You got a Christmas tree butter sculpture. I, in the Midwest here at State Farms or State Fairs, we've got, you know, the, the butter cow. But I've never seen a Christmas tree made of butter that you can buy. I feel bad to actually, like, use it. I mean, somebody spent a lot of time carving it. <laughs> It'd be a waste to just dig into it, but if you like that, there you go. That's pretty cool. That's a first for me also. Look at that. I'm pretty sure no one spent a lot of time making it, but it is cool. Oh, really? Wow. A machine did. Oh. All right, family. That is it. We are done here at Target. Man, it is so hard to film here, but we got her done. We showed some holiday stuff. We showed some healthy stuff of what to buy right now at the Target and what to avoid. So that's it. We're going to head home, make some Christmas cookies for the blog, do a live stream. So make sure you subscribe, share the Flavor City love, all those good things. Uh, there are two more videos below Arthur and I right now. We will see you soon. We leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later. Ha, ha, ha.